get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Cooking Cassis, I Full TV in association with Macklin's in Marbella. We're at the weigh-in here for Big City Dreams. With me, got the little guy himself, <laughs> Tommy Edwards. How are you? Yeah, I'm great, thanks. Good. And training's gone great as normal. Looking forward to get back in the ring and put my last fight behind me and just move on and finish on a positive start, ready for a big 2017. Where were you yesterday? You weren't at the press conference. I wasn't at the press conference. I asked Frank when he wanted me. I don't think he wanted me on the, on the press conference yesterday. They were so calling your name. Were they? Like, he said I didn't need to come, so I flew in um, yesterday like, afternoon, so I would have missed the press conference. So, obviously, this is uh, not an important fight for you, but obviously coming off the back of yeah. your first pro defeat and it being for a world title, um, a little bit of confidence booster there for you this that's, week? That's it. I wanted to get back in there straight away. Um, my management team, um, my management team at MGM Marbella and Matt Trim, I got onto them straight away and said, look, put, put me straight back out before Christmas because I didn't want to dwell on it all over Christmas period and then maybe get to February and not having the fight, another fight. So I just wanted to get it, get back to positive ways, put it behind me and get back in there and get back to winning ways. How long did it take to really sort of sink in about uh, that night? It was horrible. Like... After, I, was, I didn't even want to be seen for like two weeks. I hadn't, I, looking back now, I was stupid because I had nothing to lose going into that fight and I put in a very good performance. And um, I showed a lot in it and loads of people have praise for me, but I just couldn't it hurt too much. I didn't want to speak to people about it. I couldn't speak to people about it. I just hid away from it. And um, But I'm, I'm, I'm glad I, I took the fight. I, I'm definitely going to have learned a lot from it. I even know that I feel confident even coming to weigh-ins and things like that now. I feel like it's just it is my job. I, I'm not nervous. I'm not being, not anxious. So I'm looking forward to getting back in there and getting back to winning ways. Obviously, before the fight, people were saying, you know, is this sort of a, a bit of a gamble, uh, having so few fights in the program, challenging for a world title? But in hindsight, um, was it too early for you? Could you see an argument for that? Yeah, definitely. It, it, it was too early for me. Like. He was a great, great fighter. He could punch from the, from the first round. Like, to be honest, when I watch it back, I look at some of the shots he hit me with and I don't even know how I stood up from it. So I showed I have got a chin. And it was early, but the experience I'm going to gain from that, I'm going to get him ringing with like, the next few fights. And that, like, it'll, it'll show me uh, this fight. When I'm in there, I feel like I'm going I'm to be in there and I'm going to think, well, you've got nothing on it. Casemiro, you've got nothing on it, and that will give me a bigger boost in fights to come. Mm. You have to try and put a positive spin on it and, and use that to your advantage moving forward because you can't dwell on it too much. And like I said, you fought for it, you know what's required for you to win a world title. So when you come up against someone next time, you'll know what you have to do. Exactly, I know what to do, I know what to expect, I know I'll, I'll know that little bit more of how to adapt as well. And at the end of the day, I got stopped, I got hit with a good good hard shots I got knocked down so that's all all, all of my in, in my experience now when that happens again I can adapt better I'm not scared of the un, like the inevitable now so I know what it's about and it don't bother me I'm ready to get back in there and do it again and I've just got to now get back in there and I just start building slowly slowly and get more titles on the way and just slow myself down a little bit I'm only 23 years of age I'm still a baby did it feel like a little bit of a lonely dressing room afterwards, or, or not really? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it was. It was a lonely dressing room. I went back, got in the shower, and just felt distraught. Went back out, and it was just like no one was around. It's like a scene out of the film. Yeah, it was like one of them scenes out of the film, and I was just like, oh, this is weird. And what, it, why aren't people chanting my name anymore? Yeah, no, I'm not chanting <laughs> your name, but you know what I mean? Like, Obviously, I, I told everyone that when I got back to change room, I was just like, just leave me on my own. I want to deal with it by my own. I said, get get out. I, I had a little after party thing and I made my brother and family go to be there. I won't be there. I went back to the hotel and um, it is one of them things but when, when, when you feel a bit of defeat it just makes you more hungry. It makes you want to come back and you learn from your defeat. I'd learn more in that fight than I would have all my other eight fights. Mm. To be fair, you have got fantastic people around you. If it's your choice sort of not to be around anyone straight after that yeah. then 
that would have been your yeah. choice, but you've got a good team around you. That's it. I've got a great team around me of MJ and Mark now, and all, all the match where they've got fully confidence in me. It was a it was a big big jump up. I didn't succeed. I thought we, we thought I could have, but it's it's no no biggie. I'll, I'll be back and I'll be back stronger. They've got full faith in me that I will be a world champion one day. I just need the right guidance. What I've got behind MJ and Mark and just slowly slowly catch your one. Charlie Edwards, thank you very much for talking to Apple TV. Nice, okay. Dan Wayne there, yeah. feel free to put the nut on whoever you're fighting. <laughs> you know, always recommend it, isn't it? We're going to get Tommy in separately. <laughs> All right. Nice, <laughs> Cheers, Charlie.